Good morning, students. In the previous class, I have started future tense. So we have already discussed simple future tense, and we have learned that there are there are four classification of future tense: simple future or future indefinite tense, future continuous, future perfect, and future perfect continuous tense. So these are the four classifications of the future tense. Now today we will learn, we will discuss. future continuous tense okay now what is future continuous tense continuous in the name also you can understand the continuation of an action is implied it is implied in that name only so that is why future continuous tense is used to describe an action an ongoing action that will continue for some time in future that will occur for some time that will happen for some time in future so in this case we can use in the sentences we can use future continuous tense okay now let's look at the rule of this sentence first you have to write the subject then shall or will according to the subject after that be then the present form of the main verb okay present form of the main verb plus ing in future tense in simple future tense also i have told you that you have to write the present form of the main verb here in this sentence also in this future continuous tense also we have to write present form of the main verb after that ing then the remaining part of the sentence or the object now let's come to the assertive sentence If I tell you that, give me an example of future continuous tense in assertive sentence. What will you write? You will write, "It will be raining tomorrow." So, it here it is the subject, students. After that, shall or will? I told you I have to write shall or will. So here I have used will because it is the third person. Okay, so that is why I told you that after third person you have to write will. So will. after that b here see it is written b so after will i have written b after that the present form of the verb present form of the verb is rain after that ing so here i have written ing raining then after the object okay so it will be raining tomorrow this is an example of future continuous tense in assertive sentence okay now come to the next sentence negative sentence it will not be raining tomorrow it is a subject shall or will i told you that we will write shall or will so will after that not not immediately will write be not raining not this way you will not write okay you have to write after shall or will not after that the be then after the same way you have to follow the present form of the main verb that is rain after that ing after that the object okay it will not be raining tomorrow subject plus shall or will plus not plus be plus verb plus ing plus object now come to the third sentence interrogative sentence in interrogative sentence how will you write here at first because it is an interrogative sentence so i told you many a time that you have to start the sentence with the to be verb or the auxiliary verb over here so the future form of the auxiliary verb over here is shall or will so obviously will okay after that the subject after that be okay here be after that the present form of the verb present form of the verb after that ing after that the object then of course you have to end the sentence with the interrogative marks okay so will it be raining tomorrow i'm asking a question okay so that is an example of interrogative sentence in future continuous tense okay so students in future these are the these are the three types of sentences that i have given example okay students so students now we will discuss what are the usage of future continuous tense 
where future continuous tense is used. Now we will learn that. Okay. So what is the first usage? To describe an ongoing action or ongoing actions in future. For example, they will be playing tennis. They will be playing tennis. This is an ongoing action. The action which is going on for some time in future that will be going on for some time in future. So that is why I have used here future continuous tense. Okay, they will be playing. Okay, now come to the second point. To express a series of parallel action in future. A series of action will happen, will take place in future at the same time. Okay, two actions or more than two actions will take place simultaneously, parallelly. Okay, in future. So that is why in, in these sentences we use the future continuous tense. For example, she will be watching TV and he will be cooking dinner. Here two parallel actions are referred here. Okay, what are the two parallel actions? She will be watching TV and he will be cooking. Okay, dinner. So these are the two parallel actions that will happen in future. So that is why we have used here future continuous tense. Now come to the third sentence, third usage. To ask a question very politely about the future. Okay, will you bring in your friend to the party? Will you be bringing your friend? So I am asking a question very politely. Will you be coming tomorrow in my house? So here in this sentence, I have used your future continuous tense. And see the rule that have been, fo that have been followed over here. What is the rule? First, will as I have already discussed. I have already discussed to you. Will, after that the subject, then be, after that the present form of the main verb, after that ing. And after that the object and at the end the question mark follows. Okay students. So this is an example of future continuous tense. Now the next tense that we will learn is future perfect tense. So what is future perfect tense? This tense expresses an action in the future before another action in the future. So Two actions will happen in future. Both the actions will happen in future. Okay. So the action which will, hap which will happen before another action. In case of the former action, we will use future perfect tense. So there will be two actions. For the first action, we will use future perfect tense. Okay. Not for the second action. Okay, students. So, here I will have written articles on different topics before you come. So, here two things, two actions that will happen in future. What are the two things that will happen? The first thing is I will have written articles before you come. So, these two will happen in future. What will happen first? I will complete my article that will happen first after that you will come okay so these two actions will happen in future but for the first action the action which will happen at first for that action only we will be using future perfect tense example i will have written articles on different topics before you come so two, two actions. For the first action I have used here the future perfect tense. Will have written. This is future perfect tense. First subject, after that will, after that have. Then the past participle form of the verb. Written. Write, wrote, written. Written you will write. Go, went, gone. Gone you will write. Rise, rose, risen. Your risen you will write. Okay, the third form of the verb. Okay, you have to write it down. After that, the rest of the sentence. After that, the second action I told you, two actions that will happen. The, for the second action, again, the present form of the verb. Okay, for, before the 
second action okay in the second action you will add you will not write over there will you will come no present form simple present okay now come to rule first you have write subject you have to write subject i okay after that will okay here we have written will after that have you yes, see you have written have then the past participle form of the verb here is written written okay over here it is written after that the object here the object is written and i told you students before before the second action you have to write the it, you have to write the second action in simple present tense now let me give you some of the examples from future perfect tense in assertive sentence how will you write first the subject he will have done it by this evening so this is an example this is an so this is a sentence so here he is a subject after that will after that have then the past participle form of the main verb then the rest of the sentence okay now come to the negative sentence first look at the look at the example he will not have done it by this evening so at first you have to write the subject then will after that not after that have then the past participle form of the main verb i have already discussed these things to you now the remaining portion of the sentence remember students after have you will not use any other form of the main verb you only have to write the past participle form of the main verb okay now come to the third sentence that is interrogative sentence will he have done it by this evening question mark so will because it is an interrogative sentence that's why i will start the sentence with will the to be the auxiliary verb the to be form of the verb okay so the to be form of the verb here is will after that subject after that have after that the past participle form of the main verb then the rest of the sentence and after that the question mark now students we will discuss the different usage of future perfect tense so to talk about an action that will finish before a certain time in the future we use future perfect tense example by 8 o'clock i will have taken off for japan okay so here here we are talking about an action that will finish before a certain time in future what is a certain time by 8 o'clock okay that will happen that is a time which will come in future i am talking about this time in future by 8 o'clock i will have taken off for japan okay i will have taken off so here i am talking about an action that will finish before a certain period of time what is a certain time over here by 8 o'clock okay so here i have used future perfect tense and after subject i have used will then have then the past participle form of the main verb then the rest of the sentence now come to the second usage to express a conviction that something will happen in near past you have that confidence you have that conviction in yourself that another action will happen in near future okay so in this sentences in this type of sentences we will also use future perfect tense for example the guests will have arrived at the hotel by now the guest will have so here i have used here the future perfect tense so the guest will have arrived it is my conviction it is my belief i thought that this thing will happen the guest the arrival of the guests will happen 
in near past by this time. So that is why I have written that. So it is, it expressed my conviction, my belief that by the time they will have arrived. They must have arrived. So that is why I have used your future perfect tense. So students, now we will learn future perfect continuous tense. So what is future perfect continuous tense? This tense expresses longer actions or states extending up to some specific event or time in future. That means it is just like future perfect tense. But there is a difference between the future perfect tense and future perfect continuous tense. Here the actions will be extending up to a specific point of time in future. There will be a specific point of time. So here also lies the uh, difference between future perfect continuous tense and future continuous tense also. Here the actions or the state it extends up to some specific time in the future. So the time will be very specifically mentioned in this tense. Okay. So here lies the difference between the future perfect tense and future continuous tense and uh, other tenses. Okay. So here that here is the example. Here is the example from the assertive sentence that I have given. By next March, we shall have been living here for five years. So the specific time, I told you about the specific time. Here is mentioned five years. So the specific time over here is mentioned five years. How much time we have lived? By next March means the next year, maybe in 2000. 21 will be we shall have been living here in Barakpur. Maybe I live in Barakpur. So that's why I'm giving an example to you in Barakpur. So we shall have been living. I am I have been living here. Okay. I have been living in Barakpur for five years. Next year that will happen. So here I have mentioned the specific time that will happen in future that will occur in future. So that is why it's not five years now. In this year, it is not five years. Five years will happen. It will take place. It will occur in the next year. So that is why I have said here by next March, next year March, we will have been living here for five years. We we shall have been living here. We shall have been living here. We shall or we will. We can write. Okay. After that have, after that been. Then the verb, then the ing. So I'm telling you for, for, from the first in assertive sentence, this is the rule. So what is the rule, students? First, I have to write the subject. Here is the subject. After that, shall or will. Here I have written shall. Okay. After that, have been. Have plus been plus verb plus ing. Verb plus ing then the rest of the sentence that is the object okay in the negative sentence how will you write this negative sentence they will not have been going for a picnic next year so they will not have been at first i have said subject here lies the subject after that will shall or will i told you then have here is a have then been after that Verb plus ing, the present form of the main verb, then ing, going, after that the rest of the sentence. Now come to the third sentence, that is interrogative sentence. How will you write interrogative sentence? Will you have been walking since morning? Question mark. So will, at first I told you auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb is will. After that, the subject you, then have, then been, then the main verb, the present form of the main verb. You cannot write the past form. You cannot write the third form of the verb. Okay. Here you cannot write all these things. Only the present form of the verb. After have been present form of the verb, then ing. Because it refers to the continuation. Have been working. It refers to the continuation of an action 
for a longer period of time. So that's why I have used here have been working. Since morning, the specific time is mentioned. I told you a specific time that has to be mentioned in future perfect continuous tense. So that is why I have used here future perfect continuous tense. So students, we have learned the four types of future tenses in our class today. So simple future tense, future continuous, future per perfect and future perfect continuous. So these are the four tenses we have learned. I think you all have understood future tense quite well. Thank you students.